I'm going to talk about something called parenting mathematics. Probably it's a, uh, we all have been doing it. Can I request me please switch off your or mute your Hello. I can hear the bathroom water being flowing. Hello, participants, please switch off your call and please unmute yourself. Are you able to mute, unmute yourself? Yeah, I've unmuted myself and hopefully uh, we won't have background uh, music coming. Okay, right. Uh, so uh, as I was saying, we all have been doing parenting and parenting mathematics, but I just would like to go in a slightly more uh, uh, systematic way about parenting mathematics and see what uh, ideas I would like to share so that life becomes a bit pleasant for our uh, children. So before I start, I would like to know among the participants, uh, how many uh, participants, there are 30 par 38 participants and how many are from which part of uh, life some of you will be uh, teachers, some of you will be parent teachers, teachers and parents, and some of you may be students. So I would like to get uh, some data so that I can uh, give, give you back something. So please uh, enter this website in your, uh, so let me uh, and put this in the chat session. Where is the chat? Here is the chat. So I'm putting the link in the chat. You can click on that. And uh, uh, so you'll be asked three or four of questions. Uh, please uh, answer those. That will tell us. Uh, so already I can see. Uh, Among uh, 39 participants, six are parents and math teacher. Two are math teachers, not parent. And I've, one is parent, not a math teacher. Yeah, I would like all of you to say and tell what you are from where you are or answer these five questions because I'm not asking your name. I'm not asking your age. I'm not asking whether you are a male or a female. I'm just asking some data so that I can uh, mold my talk accordingly. So I would expect all the 38 would, uh, 39 would answer. Still not even half of them, uh, half of the participants have uh, entered uh, the data. See, I'm presenting it to you to a way, those of you who are teachers, a way of conducting a quiz in the classroom. Hello, Kuldeep. Yeah. Kuldeep, sir. Kuldeep, please keep your audio shut. No more people would like to answer. Only 16 have answered. I thought at least 50% poll will make it meaningful if there are at least 50% people. I have shared the link in the chat. Please click on that and you'll be taken to a site and uh, where you can enter your choice. Okay. So now you can see what happened online. In online teaching, what happened? What was the result? 
because now the people present and who are logged in not in 15 50% not even 50 percent are now now it's probably 50 percent i don't know how many are total now 30 sometime back increasing yeah increasing so that's what we have to do with our students cajole them wake them up and say please come back uh, online and uh, don't just log in because that is not good anyway so most of you are parents and math teacher that is the first well seven are math teachers but not parents, probably uh, uh, that's okay. One person is parent and not a math teacher and uh, one is none of the above. So um, I will keep uh, the two, which one a parent, but not a math teacher and none of the above. Both of you in mind while uh, talking so that uh, we can, uh, everybody can learn something. So. So let me close that. So that gave me a fair idea about, uh, right. So uh, having gotten that idea, let us, uh, what is parenting? If I have to explain what is parenting, okay. Um, the best way probably is to go to a dictionary and look for the meaning, right? No, Hello, Kuldeep. Mr. Kuldeep Gupta. Mr. Kuldeep Gupta. Okay, let me mute. Okay, everybody else is able to hear? Okay, good. I have not muted myself. Fine. I think uh, this is an additional job one has to do online. So, uh, what is parenting according to Encyclopedia Britannica? The process of raising children and providing them with protection and care in order to ensure their healthy development into adulthood. That is how uh, Encyclopedia Britannica defines parenthood. So that is fair enough definition. Uh, in slightly more uh, uh, elaborate words, one can say uh, parenting includes fostering, it includes nurturing, it includes nursing, it includes raising, it includes rearing, fathering, mothering, attending, caring for and cradling, cultivating, minding, nurturing, watching, feeding, providing and supplying and so on. So almost everything that you can think of that we have to do in parenting. Fine. So uh, the next question come here is a, something very interesting I found on the net. Uh, somebody says, uh, John Wilmot says, before I married, I had three theories about raising children. I had, and I had no children okay, before marriage. Now I have three children and no theories. So that is a effect of, uh, so here is, uh, Parenting uh, is really uh, at times uh, difficult, let me say that, okay? All right, so with this uh, humor in mind, let us go over. Uh, parenting requires significant amount of time, energy, and emotional strength that we all know who uh, answered as parents. Uh, it's not an easy process, of course, okay? so. Let me ask you, uh, the participants, what you think about parenting. So once again, I'm entering this site, a quiz in the uh, chat. Where is the chat? Where I can put, okay, here is the chat. I'm putting this link into the uh, chat for uh, everyone. Please uh, click on that and uh, answer the
so the three questions are is it pleasure parenting not difficult at all it is a pleasure and moderately difficult it is pleasure and is difficult so once again i would request uh, all those present uh, number of participants is 40 so at least uh, when it reaches 50% i would like to go ahead but it gives you a chance of participating in an online quiz which you can use in your classroom those who are teachers and i'm using a tool which is free okay so probably that we can talk about a bit later but i'm using it to know your views on parenting okay so still not uh, reach not 50 percent I think some of you probably don't have internet, but otherwise you wouldn't have logged in if you don't have internet. So you should be able to go to the site which I uh, entered and uh, enter the data on that site. It is in the chat box. Two more, please, so that we can go to 20 and then say, let us go ahead. Is 43 participants now, 42, so at least 21 probably to go ahead, right? Somebody is just walking in, Akshay Tandon, so please vote. See your chat box and vote. Okay, I think... Uh, Not too many are interested in revealing which category they fall in. It doesn't matter actually. I just want to feel uh, that what I'm going to talk about is it makes sense? Yes, it makes sense because majority of you and out of the persons 19 who voted, okay, uh, at least 10 have said they find it difficult. 11 have said they find it difficult. Pleasure is a pleasure. They, Parenting is always a pleasure. So whether it is not difficult, moderately difficult, or uh, it is uh, is a reasonably difficult. So I think about 19 at least are in saying that uh, they find it uh, difficult. So let us go ahead and uh, continue. So uh, I can uh, say uh, now that more than 50% those who voted say that, yes, they found parenting uh, difficult. There is a uh, research center in the US. Hello, Dr. Sir. Participants, please mute yourself. Okay. So according to a research center in US, uh, about 66% of US parents, a survey was done. Um, it was a big survey. The raising kids is difficult now than it was uh, two decades ago. 20 years compared to 20, they compared uh, 20 years ago, parenting had some issues involved and what are the issues now and the comparison of the two. And the reasons they found why uh, it is more difficult now, the fi family dynamics have shifted. Earlier, we had uh, most of the joint families uh, where a lot of care was given by somebody in the family. Okay? Now there are nuclear families that has added to uh, problems in parenting. Help available has less, become less. Less family time, obviously we know that uh, both the parents are working, so they have less time to devote it to their children. So. Intensive uh, parenting pressure, that is, uh, we want to make uh, the best clothes available to the ch child, private dance lessons, best toys, and so on. That is what is called intensive parenting pressure on the parents. Technology is creating new challenges, the rise of social media, access to technology for exposing children to things. At a very young age, there are issues involved and that is causing a lot of uh, pressure to the parents. Okay. So here is uh, uh, something about technology. Uh, 
uh, easier it was 20 years ago, what 66% of the people say it is now more difficult, it was easier. And how technology is uh, affecting in general, social media, changing morals, violence, and, showing, and so on. Uh, so this is all available on the web. You can see how technology is affecting parenting. So you search for uh, this uh, website and the survey, which I said, uh, Pew Research Center. So these are the crucial words. And there you'll have a parenting survey available from where I have borrowed this uh, data. So technology is on one hand helping us, on the other it is uh, creating some issues. This is what a family dinner looked like in 1980s, around 22 years back. Right? Everybody was on the dining table, they talked to each other, right? What you have done in today and some advices were given and so on. Can you see what is the, the dining table looks like today? This is what the dining table looks like today. Okay. Everybody is eating, nobody is talking, everybody is listening or doing something of their own. Yeah, I would like to comment if you allow in between. Yes. Please, please go ahead. So yesterday, uh, only I saw a message on WhatsApp. There was he uh, was saying that uh, Gandhi ji has three uh, monkeys. Three bandar the unke na bura dekho na bura suno aur na uh, bura bolo. So ab wo bandar three nahi hai, ek hi hai. Wo ek bandar hai hamare haath mein phone. Wo kuch bhi nahi karne deta. Na hume bura dekhne deta hai, na bolne deta hai, na sunne deta hai. So the, uh, this phone has replaced the three monkeys of Gandhi ji. Yeah, but the issue uh, I am trying to point out is that the uh, dinner table in the evening used to be a co common time where everybody will come and talk to each other, listen to each other's problems, and uh, share some solutions or advices. That is gone. So that is putting more pressure on the family, on the parenting. Okay. So parenting is difficult. So conclusion of this part of uh, my presentation was. I hope all of you agree that parenting is a difficult task, one way or the other. Yes. Let's look at the second uh, word in my talk that was uh, mathematics. So what about mathematics? Is that difficult? So let us uh, look at that. Uh, I just want to start with uh, you uh, with a uh, video clip, uh, which is uh, mathematics is everywhere. Okay. So I want to show you this. Because this will be useful for teacher as well as uh, well.
the my aim of showing this was basically to say that mathematics is almost in every field of our life touching every uh, field of our life and these uh, pictures are taken from american mathematical society website ams.org and you can go there and uh, the lot of uh, this was taken about 25 years ago probably when i made this but now uh, they have developed that uh, site a bit more lot more actually there are podcasts available there is more description of each topic and each could be a good project for students those of you who are looking for projects in mathematics touching uh, real life scenarios okay so visit american mathematical society website and uh, look for math moments uh, probably i think that is so uh, my aim of showing this normally is to parents and teachers that they can make uh, students aware that mathematics is important in our life so mathematics is needed uh, in every field of our life so uh, another reason why mathematics is required or is essential is uh, it develops an informed public it is very important for the national economy uh, a survey was done uh, some time back not some time back i think a few years back um the countries who have the most strong economies have good uh, mathematics background the teaching and learning is mathematics is good uh, so uh, it is linked to the overall progress of the nation okay so agar aap aap chahte hain ki aap desh ki seva kare to apne bachcho ko ganit ki ruchi badhaye unme okay so there is my contribution of hindi for today one dialogue in hindi okay right so um, it is important that today's students must master advanced skills in mathematics science and technology if you want to have a prominent career in mathematics uh, in uh, life almost every career in uh, uh, job opportunity requires mathematics okay but there is something unfortunate that the children start getting what is called math phobia at an early stage in our education right uh what's the reason for that i will not go into too much of this because that is not the topic for me uh, today what is the reason is it the biased opinion perpetuated by parents is the parents themselves start telling the child that look mathematics is difficult so be careful even before that ch child has started going to school the parents start telling okay because probably they found mathematics difficult so the child before going to school before going to a class is already scared of mathematics okay so we have already uh, it's like uh, saying that be careful in driving there are potholes ahead in the road so something telling a driver for that is there something wrong in our curriculum well uh, i don't think curriculum is the main thing to be blamed because curriculum is always revised and re-revised almost every 2 years or 3 years keeping in mind what is required so i don't think uh, curriculum is the it is the assessment system probably which i also can be contributing the examination oriented uh, system right there are too many tests too many uh, exams uh, which put pressure on the student in, in learning something okay there is a difference between learning and knowing something uh hello are you able to listen to me yes sir you yeah. are very much audible sir you are very audible thank you no, no, suddenly something vanish uh, the audience list vanish so i was wondering what is happening okay fine fine no problem i just wanted to confirm that Uh, i'm not doing it online everybody yeah. okay. due to a network uh, problem i switched off my camera yeah no no i am the switch of my camera because uh, internet can be a issue sometimes right ha ah. so uh, math phobia is a issue ek problem hai right so uh, what is the solution iska solution kya hai there is no uh, a uh, very easy solution for removing math phobia 
the problem is very complex, right? So improving mathematical education for all children requires hum sab ki effort chahiye, teachers, math educators, school and state administration, institute of higher learning, mathematic, mathematicians, professional mathematicians should also come to math education and uh, contribute sometimes. Uh, business and corporate sector, sector should sponsor uh, professional development activities and other things. And more uh, important is students and uh, their families, they have to learn how to uh, learn and understand mathematics. So, so parenting is difficult. Mathematics is difficult. Now I'm going to combine the two parenting mathematics, right? So two difficult things being combined, that is parenting mathematics. So it's a super uh, difficult thing. And what we can do something about it? Can we do something about it? If yes, what can be done about it? So let us uh, imagine parenting uh, mathematics, what could be a scenario? A student brings home an assignment, a primary student, primary level student um, on using area model to solve some computational problems, okay? So uh, we, he has been introduced or he or she has been introduced in the classroom about the area problem and how, uh, sorry, uh, multiplication, how it can, uh, you can solve it by using uh, the area model, okay? So the problem is, what is 13 into six, okay? He comes home, the child has forgotten what did <clears throat> they do in the class and ask the parent for help. So the parent says, what the heck is the area model? The parent or the guardian does not know what is the area model. So the child tries to help the parent by saying that it is a box and you put numbers inside it for multiplication. Right? That is what he remembers. Okay. And the parent immediately responds, that is now how I learned it. Okay. That is not the way the parent has learned it about 20 or 30 years back but the child is still trying to show what he has remembered from the class, but it is taking too long a time. So the parent is busy. He says, no, 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 no. My parent grabs a piece of paper and says, let me just do, do it for you. Tell you what is it, okay? So he just simply says three times six is 18. So eight goes here and you can have one as a carry. So six times one is six. So six plus one is seven. So the answer is 17. See, the problem is over, okay? So he wants to teach the child the same way, right? That is an algorithm to memorize, okay? What is uh, multiplication? And he says, ah, oh, that is the way I, why I hate mathematics, okay? The, we are, uh, why are you, the uh, kids learning the way we learned it? And such things are, such noises will be made. And that is one problem. So today's parents and guardians are normally confused, worried, and frustrated about how children are learning. So they can't support what is called the new for new mathematics. Okay, the methods of teaching have changed. So that is one problem. Parenting mathematics, the problem. So this is uh, the picture that comes out. Both the parents are trying to help, okay, but the child is still confused or irritated. The problem is complicated uh, recently by distance learning, right? In September 2021, the schools reopened and there was an observation that there is a learning loss. So what is the learning loss means? And normally after every vacation or every short uh, closing of schools, when the students come back, they don't remember what is uh, done in the previous, uh, uh, before vacation. But now this was much more complicated. So here is a survey which was done that in 2019, the number of uh, uh, students, 44% were found to be below grade level that went up to 50% uh, in 20. So in one year of that uh, online teaching, that is the kindergarten. Similarly, for grade one, in one year, the, the red is grade, below grade, 27 were below grade level, that went out to 
similarly grade two and grade three, everywhere you see uh, the red bars have gone up. That means the children had fallen behind uh, their learning of the previous standards. Okay. So this is called uh, catching up of the learning loss. Schools are trying to do their best. Um, how the learning loss can be made up. Uh, there are various ways. I will not talk about that because that is for school and administration. So let us uh, come to parents, parenting mathematics. So the first concern the parents have is I did not grow up feeling mathematically empowered. So I don't know uh, how do I, uh, I thought mathematics is only for gifted students. I think now the belief is all children can be successful in mathematics. The parent thinks an average kid like myself, the parent would survive in math classes without minimal understanding. Just by rote learning, skill learning, you can get through. I learned quickly that memorization was the key to a passing grade. This is important memorization and passing grade. That is what the parents think and still many think that way. Okay, so that is unfortunate. So um, I think parents have to be, uh, this is some kind of advice I'm giving to parents, be positive. Let your negative attitude not influence your child. The parents should not let that happen. Help your child with a can-do attitude, praising your child's efforts and achievements. Struggling to understand mathematics is a very natural phenomena. It is not something unnatural. Okay? If you found it difficult as a parent, does not mean your child will find it difficult. So don't bias your child. Some parents think, oh, after high school, who needs it? Nobody needs mathematics after high school. Let your child know that mathematics is used in almost every field. I just now shown you a small video clip, okay? In higher studies, if you want to go, child, you'll go to higher studies, whether it is engineering, economics, commerce, management, and so on, all will require mathematics. Many of uh, people from engineering, commerce, and management are now coming back. You see that all, uh, uh, Corsia and uh, Udemy and uh, Upgrade and such things, they're all running math classes for working professionals because everybody wants to know mathematics and learn mathematics. We'll have to come back and learn mathematics. So it's better to learn now. Does mathematics need special techniques? Like every subject, okay? Uh, one needs uh, to become proficient. One needs uh, special ways, okay? And uh, to understand Conceptual understanding and computational thing, uh, skills, both uh, how to balance between the two. A similarity would be in reading, not only it is important to know and pronounce and decode words, you may be able to uh, read words, pronounce and decode words. It is important to be able to comprehend what is being read. So even in language, if you just memorize words, that does not help. You have to understand how to interpret words and comprehension is very important in language. And in mathematics, it is a computational uh, uh, thinking which is should be supplemented with conceptual understanding. What is wrong with simple chalk and blackboard method for teaching? Okay, you had learned it everybody that way. What's the need for technology? Um, I, I don't have time to give you an input on how technology helps and provides tools that can empower a teacher to do his or her job in a more effective way. And I will show you, share with you some tools which can help a parent to uh, motivate your, your child, okay? What is the relation between, this is, a, this is a question being asked by many teachers, many parents, what is the relation between memory and school calculations? If somebody can uh, do have a good memory and good, uh, calculation, uh, speed calculation, mental mathematics that is being called, what is the relation between two? Memory and speed calculations have no relation with learning and understanding of mathematics. It is categorically proved. Can a fast run be a football player? Somebody who can run very fast need not be a good football player because to be a good football player, you have to learn the techniques of tackling the opponents right, dribbling and so on, many other things are required, okay? So just memory and speed calculations are not enough. They are good for, uh, to give you a, a moral booster that you are good at man, man, computations, good, fine, okay. 
so a role of parent uh, some general suggestions which uh, are very uh, probably difficult to implement parents role as a math coach okay the parents should maintain a lifelong learning attitude that i think keep on saying to the child keep on doing things which uh, him to think mathematically i'll try to give you some examples okay so daily uh, practicing math skills and courage emphasize that effort and time are important for learning math mathematics is not a goli khali aur aapko sab kuch aa jayega right there is no ramban koi ramban nahi hai ganit seekhne ke liye even to uh, learn uh, language you have to learn the grammar you have to learn the vocabulary and so on okay so everything requires a uh, lot of uh, effort and skills connect with everyday life if possible try to connect uh, uh, mathematics with everyday life i think there are many ways one can do that uh, try to encourage the child to ask questions to the teacher this is not uh, encourage normally teachers uh, either the teachers uh, don't encourage students to ask questions or students are afraid of asking questions to teachers but i think this is a habit we will have to change uh math talk in the classroom is very important students should be able to question okay uh, without hesitation that is very important because only when you question you, you get an answer as uh, the parents should sometimes talk to the teacher and ask uh, what is being taught how uh, what are the methods being uh, used so that i don't know how many uh, teachers are contacted by parents they will only come and say mere bacche ka number acche nahi aaye kya kar rahe hain class mein pata nahi kya ho raha hai they are worried about such things rather than asking can i help my child in some way please give me a tip so that i can help my child in some way okay talk mathematics write mathematics solve word problems and backward if possible okay make mathematics a fun so this is very crucial what i'm going to say Uh, play games solve puzzles try brain teasers with your child i think that parents can always do they will also enjoy link mathematics with daily life sport doing homework okay you can sport your uh, child for doing homework but don't do it don't do the homework for your child that is very important okay right तुम कुछ कहो खाना खा लो मैं तुम्हारा होमवर्क कर देता हूँ डोंट गिव सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स लेट हिम स्किप द लंच स्किप द डिनर एंड डू द होमवर्क हेमसेल्फ यू कैन हेल्प इसको ऐसे करना है इसको वैसे करना है सी ड्यूरिंग एलिमेंट्री एजुकेशन ओके स्टूडेंट्स आर ईगर टू एक्सप्लोर ओके दे आर नॉट स्टिल दैट मच बायस अबाउट मैथमेटिक्स सो दे टेन टू लूज इंटरेस्ट इफ यू प्रेजेंट मेमोराइजिंग टेक्निक्स टू देम सो स्किल बेस्ड लर्निंग विल decrease their interest in mathematics help them to connect with everyday life i am com coming to this word everyday life again and again there are many ways one can do it uh, in counting you can do many things about counting at home classification and comparison you can compare two sets of bags which is heavier which is uh, not heavier why it is heavier such kind of things Uh, money matters counting money in your purses adding up money division concepts right dividing if uh, cutting a bird a cake pies and so on i think all these are very common and uh, known to uh, teachers but parents should also do it gardening cooking cycling measurements aur kamera sir train le poit rakha hai train le poit nahi ja rahe the person sir please mute your sign okay so uh, let me go over to something uh, more probably uh, which you will find there is a book uh, called number fun with calendar okay this is a book written by uh, p k srinivasan long back is forgotten so probably let me uh, share with you uh, that book and the website uh, of that so uh, let me see if i can open that website if it opens then i can show you oh it doesn't open so search uh, pk sir uh, number fun with the calendar and okay i think it's here yeah so this is uh, 
this is a free copy is available on the internet number form with calendar okay you can uh, always uh, use this book so there are a lot of uh, calendar and mathematics in this so is connected calendar is available every home so one can take a calendar and pick up some tips from this book and use it to prove uh, uh, excite your child in learning mathematics right so even if you are not able to note down the uh, link now if you want i can put the link in the web chat box copy and uh, chat so that if you want to do it face later on you can do it okay i want to go over to another uh, uh, resource there is a website called bethigon uh, some of you might have already uh, seen it uh, those who are mathematics teachers uh, they might have seen it so let me uh, go over to this website and show you something how is that useful so this is the website okay uh, there is no charges for that okay it's free you can create your account and there are many courses available on it interactive courses on euclidean geometry transformation and symmetry uh, triangles trigonometry polygons polyhedra then for high school non euclidean geometry fractals and so on uh, there are activities available okay there are many activities available you can do okay all are uh, very nice activities uh, there is a uh, especially there is something called a polypad um, okay which you can help to do uh, this polypad can help you to do uh, algebra it can help you to do the algebra tiles exploring multiples geometry and so on so you can do many things so here are some tiles for example you can have a triangle here you can have a you can rotate these kind of things okay so you can move around there is a triangle uh, uh, you can unfold it so this is a three dimension thing and you can unfold and see what happens <clears throat> uh, there is <clears throat> some another one uh, you can unfold you can, this is called the nets so many such things interesting things are available there are things about numbers fractions probability data and many other things uh, i have used one of such things to do something um, which is uh, okay so for example i created these two figures using the this site okay i was attending a workshop on methigon so as a exercise i did this for myself i created these two figures let me show you what i can do with it i can combine i can join this these are uh, <clears throat> trapeziums or so i can join them i join them okay and now i am i want to rotate them okay i want to rotate and try to see whether i can fit one inside the other okay so let us see uh, i should be able to do uh, here it is i think i can here yeah. you see now what i have done i have joined two of them i can take this i can uh, copy this when i copy this i can again take this and try to join it here slightly more rotation is required and it will join you see <clears throat> so these are called self locking tiles uh, you must have seen um, on the uh, uh, on the streets there are tiles being put up right where roads are being made and tiles are joined together okay they are self locking tiles so you don't have to put any cement or anything they lock with each other and they don't allow with them to move so such kind of things so you can relate it with the daily life uh, i don't have much time to go over it so i will skip this uh, site and go over to my thing so <clears throat> these are the two very important and very nice uh, sites you can download as a parent and you can play with your parent now uh, with your child so let me go over to uh, another one what is called the bulls and cows this i used to play it with my kids whenever we were free or we were traveling uh, this is a very nice game very easy to play uh, it can be played between two persons or four persons or so it can be played on a sheet of paper okay what you do is on a sheet of paper you write four digits okay 
say between uh, one to nine, you write any four digits, but you don't have to repeat. It should be all different. So like one, five, three, seven, okay, I can write. Then in turn, you try to guess what is that number. You don't show that number to the opponent and the opposite, opposite person has to guess what is the number that you have hidden. He will ask you by giving you a, a guess and you have to give a hint whether your guess is correct or not by saying it is bulls or cows. Okay, so uh, let me uh, give you probably a live demonstration of this. This you can, uh, for example, if number is the hidden number, secret number is four two seven one. Okay, so as an opponent, this is the number I have hidden. I have not shown the number to the person. The opposite person guesses the number is one two three four. So in this, the number one is there. The number one is there, and number two is there. Two is at the place. It's at the second place and it is at the correct place. So this is what is called a bull. So you have hit a bull's eye, one number. I don't tell which one. I tell out of these four numbers, there is one, one number which is at the correct place and one number which is correct but at the wrong place. So that is a cow. So in this choice, there is one bull and uh, um, one bull and uh, four is also there. So one bull and two cows are there. One bull, one, one. Two and four, they are there, but not at the right place. So there are two cows. Okay. So this game goes on till the opponent is able to. Uh, this is a very good uh, game in logic, and uh, one can play very interesting, very simple. No mathematics is required, but it will improve uh, the uh, logic of the players. So parents can always play this game, and if, if you like, you can do it on paper and pencil. There are many other ways of doing it. You can play it online. So here is the online version of it available. Um, so here the numbers are not given. So this is my choice. So I go, when I go, it says one bull and one cow. Okay, let me change probably, make it one and make it two and make it uh, four and make it five. Okay, I change my choice and I go, it says there is one bull and zero cow. Okay, so based on my previous guesses, I have to make on changing my uh, guess, okay? So let me not, I'm not playing this game with you. I'm just telling you that online you can play. If you like to play it on a uh, mobile, there is a app available on uh, Google Play. On Google Play, you can do uh, download what is called Bulls and Cows. You can install it on your, uh, on your Android app and uh, play it whenever you feel like. You can give it to your child, you can play it on your, so Google Play, it's called Bulls and Cows. And this, there are many available, but I like this one because in this you can go from four digit to five digit to six digits and so on. You can increase the number of digits. The complexity uh, can be increased, okay? So you can, uh, a version of this is also available in uh, Methigon, just now I showed. This is called the break the code in uh, Methigon, and uh, that is what uh, one can play. So break the code, so players one, two, three. So I don't have to go in again. So you can play in the Methigon also. Okay, so, so th this is a very good game for, uh, uh, doesn't require mathematics, does, it only requires numbers and guessing the numbers. And I'm sure parents will like to play it with their children. Children will like to play it with themselves and enjoy it, okay? It's a, uh, a very good for logic and logic is the base of mathematics, okay? So we should encourage uh, kids to play. So uh, I think I've got one or two more uh, minutes. So I don't know, one can use calculator. Um, every mobile has got a calculator. Uh, you can use that. For example, if I add up, See, some kids are not very fast at uh, multiplications, adding and subtracting. So you can give them a calculator, no harm. Idea is to build up the concept rather than testing whether they can multiply or add. For example, uh, this answer is 19. I just added this. Here is a question, okay? The question is, use this numbers 1963, okay? And use any one of the operations plus, minus, multiplication, or division any number of times so that you are able to get the answer, which is three. So for example, here, you want to write three equal to 
6 minus 9 divided by 3 plus 1. That answer will be 3. So I am giving the answer. I am giving the answer as 3. I want you to make the question, create the question. This is a very nice, very challenging and very interactive game for a child. And with a calculator, a child can easily verify whether it is correct or not correct. Right? And it will help the child to understand the board mass rules. So that is what I mean. Play a game and let the child revise mathematics unknowingly. Okay. So this is, uh, for example, and here is the answer is okay, but what we are asking for is there is another way of doing the same thing. There is that another way of doing the same thing. Right. There are many possibilities. So uh, these are the kind of things which will lift your understanding of your child from what is called a lower level of understanding to higher level of understanding. So these kind of games should be given. Okay. So let me uh, go over to skip such some of these things. Say middle and school, middle and high school years, the parents will find it difficult to uh, sport because that mathematics they may not know, but at least it is good to know there are possibilities uh, to support your child. But try to encourage the child not to lose interest in mathematics because higher mathematics will depend on his understanding at school, uh, middle school level. So here is something that they should talk mathematics. I want to give you an example of talk mathematics probably. I will uh, stop with that because uh, here is something called in middle school called Pythagoras theorem. And I'm going to show you a proof of Pythagoras theorem. All those uh, who are in the, uh, be interactive, be with me. And if you want to answer something, this is a chance for you. Okay. The Pythagoras theorem says that the small square and this big square when added together give you these two small squares added together gives you the big square, that is the area version of the Pythagoras theorem. I am going to show you a, a digital version of this and going to ask you a question. So here is a digital version, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a proof of the Pythagoras theorem without saying anything. So just watch carefully, okay, my screen. Beautiful. I have not said even a single word, but I have, I think most likely everybody is convinced that the area of the two smaller, this square plus this square is the bigger square. Let me do it once again. Beautifully presented, sir. Now I would like to ask the audience, can somebody justify this with words? This is not a proof. This is only a visualization of the proof. Be careful. This is not a proof. This is only a visualization of the proof. I want to some, somebody to say, here are the arguments for the proof. If I want to make it a rigorously good proof, which I can present okay, in a classroom, what are the things required? Can somebody say something? From the audience, can somebody say, add words to this so that it becomes a proof? Area of the two squares add up to the area of the third square. That is a conclusion. Uh, okay. Well, sir, I would like to say, sir. Yeah, yeah please go ahead. Uh, sir, here what you have done, the smallest uh, the smallest square has been converted to the rectangle and the other smaller has also has been converted to the rectangle. Then they have been con uh, converted into rectangle in such a way that they are going to fit in the bigger square. Precisely. Very good, Prem. You have done the thing, but in what way I have constructed a rectangle from a square? That is a question. Is there yes, a, sir. Is there a mathematics in that? If there is, what is that mathematics? So let me go step by step. So this is the first step. This is the first step. Can you explain if the areas of the two squares are transformed 
into parallelograms. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. The, and the areas of these two parallelograms are equal to the respective squares. Why? That is talking mathematics. I will ask a student to talk mathematics in the classroom and explain. Okay, so can you tell me why is this purple color rectangle is equal to the smaller scale? Why is the area equal? Can because some... sir, the base and height, base and height are the two dimensions. If we talk about the area of the parallelogram, so right. base into height, so length and the base, base and the height are the two dimension. When you okay. multiply two dimension, it gives rise to the area. Okay. In the same way for the yellow uh, rectangle, uh, sorry, parallelogram. Uh, it's okay. the base and height, sir. So both the base and height uh, give the square dimension, a uh, square dimension, meter square, meter square. And when added, uh, they result into the uh, one particular square uh, area. We are not asking what the second step. Uh, yeah, somebody uh, else wants to say. So, yeah, yes. yeah. So uh, when two parallelograms, they are having the same base and they are between the same uh, between the same parallel lines, they have the same area. Very good. You see, this is a theorem that you learn in geometry in the previous yeah. class, right? So a student will recollect what he or she has learned in the previous class by adding words to it. This is a math talk. So area of this parallelogram is same as area of this square. The area of this yellow parallelogram is area of this square by that term that she has just now said. Let me go to the next step. Now, by the same thing, by the same theorem, area of that parallelogram is area of this rectangle, area of that parallelogram is area of this rectangle. Now, so this small square is equal to the area of this purple rectangle, area of this square is equal to area of the yellow rectangle. Now, what I'm going to the next step. Next step, I'm, I'm, move, I'm moving. They fit in. Why does the areas remain same? Question, why does the areas remain same when I move? Area sir has to remain same. Why? Uh, because to... they are, uh, yeah, because uh, the uh, side of the smaller and the other smaller, they are forming the one side and the other side of the right angle. They are forming the right angle, but why when I move that rectangle from up to down, area does not change. Why it doesn't change? You understand what the question? So this is how, I, as, a, as a teacher in the math class, I will start math talk and I will go on doing math talk so that yeah. it understands many things. Yes, somebody want to say something? So because the, uh, the area of the new square, what, uh, which is uh, formed by combining the purple one and the yellow one, the side of that square is equal to the side of the, the smaller squares. That, so, that, that comes much later. My question is the following. Can you justify this step from, uh, from here up to here was fine. Now I am doing this. Okay. Why the purple area remains the same? Why the yellow area remains the same? That is a question. I am making a movement. That movement does not change the area. Why? What kind of a movement is that? What is that movement? What is this movement? Can you give a name to this movement? Is it translation? Precisely. This is what is called translation. Translation is a very, very important transformation of the plane into plane. And this is called a rigid motion. Okay. So you should tell the students a translation does not change the shape or the area of that object. When you move a table, the table remains the tape, same on the floor, right? Dimensions of the table remain the same. Yes. You are translating, pushing the table. Pushing Beautiful concept, sir. Right? So that is how you will illustrate with the daily life, with the, right? The translation in life, moving an object on the floor. It remains the same. Area remains the relations same. Relations does not change. And this is a very important transformation which plays an important role later on in higher mathematics called linear algebra. Okay. So when the child goes to higher mathematics called linear algebra, 
ही विल रिमेम्बर और शी विल रिमेम्बर ओ ये तो वही था जो हमने किया था ट्रांसलेशन उस जगह पे उस टाइम पे राइट सो दिस इज वॉट आई कॉल ये मैं इसको मैं मैथ टॉक बोलता हूँ गणित के बारे में बात करें अपनी क्लास में एज ए टीचर गणित के बारे में क्लास बात करें एज ए योर चाइल्ड एज ए पेरेंट अपने बेटे को बोलिए कुछ भी प्रॉब्लम लेके उसने प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व की है बोलो ये कैसे सॉल्व की तुमने बताओ मेरे को जब वो बताएगा तो उसके दिमाग में वो सारे स्टेप्स वापिस आएंगे मैंने क्या क्या किया था उसके दिमाग में रिवाइज हो जाएगा वो और जब वो वेन जब आप कुछ बोलते हैं तो आप बोलने से पहले अपने थॉट प्रोसेस को क्रिस्टलाइज करते हैं वो क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर मैथमेटिक्स फॉर लैंग्वेज फॉर एनीथिंग व्हेन यू वांट टू टॉक व्हेन यू वांट टू कन्वे समथिंग सो एनकरेज मैथ टॉक इन योर क्लासरूम ओके नेक्स्ट वीक वी आर हैविंग ए टॉक ऑन मैथ टॉक इन मैथ क्लिनिक दो वॉन्ट टू है लिंक आई सेंड इट टू वीना शी कैन शेयर विद यू so next saturday we are having a yes, talk, math talk in k to 8 so please do join somebody uh, monica is doing that talk and uh, she is expert in such things so attend that is very important thing so i think let me uh, stop here by this uh, illustration so this is a thing which you can bring between a parent and a child okay here is something i will, i think i will close this with the site called geogebra i don't have much thing to do uh, because we don't have time to do this thing so there is a site called geogebra you click on that you'll taken to the site called geogebra.org and on that site there are many things available to classroom resources okay so you can as a parent you can do with your child look at those for uh, curriculum free elementary school middle school higher school and lot of things are available so i think i leave it for you to explore uh, the geogebra which is very important very easy to learn and very uh, nice uh, thing so as a use your child to geogebra if you you don't know it and your child does not know it so let me close Thank you, ma'am, for giving me the opportunity. Uh, first of all, that I am APG Abdul Kalam, National Council of Young Scientists, who is Delhi chapter of your CJ 75. We have Amrit, who is going to take us on a journey. It is going to be on the 26th January to the 22nd of December. It is going to be a 15-minute lecture. So, it is a very, I would say, a very innovative, unique topic. We are going to take on parenting and mathematics. So, I was thinking that we are going to take on parenting and mathematics. लेकिन मैथमेटिक्स में कैसे पेरेंटिंग करने जो हमारे डॉक्टर इंद्र कुमार राणा जी जो एक्स प्रोफेसर आईआईटी मुंबई ने बाखूबी बता दिया आया कि अगर इस तरीके की बच्चा मैथमेटिक्स से डरेगा या भागेगा रियली सर आपने हमें बता दिया कि आपको मैथमेटिक्स में रियल लाइफ में और घर में कैसे हमने अपनी डेली जो चीजें हैं उनके उनके बीच में मैथमेटिक्स को ढूंढना है और जो सर आपने पेंटिंग करते करते जो गेम्स को बताया है कि बच्चों के बीच में बैठना है जैसे बच्चे आजकल सोशली कट ऑफ हो रहे हैं तो बच्चों के बीच में बैठ के उनकी पेरेंटिंग करना उनको मैथमेटिक्स सिखाना वो इस तरीके के सिखाना 
कि फन वे में प्ले वे में उनको पता भी लगा कि गेम भी होगी और मैथमेटिक्स भी हो गया रियली वंडरफुल सर रियली आई अप्रिशिएट यू कि आप ऐसे मुझे पहली बार ऐसा मौका मिला कि ऐसा मैथमेटिक्स देखने के लिए तो मैं चाह रहा था कि ये सेशन बंद ही ना हो लेकिन टाइम की बड़ी किल्लत थी और मैं भी अभी तैयारी कर रहा हूँ कि अभी प्रतापगढ़ के लिए अभी निकलना आज तो अभी एकदम मेरे को अचानक सुनते सुनते इतना मन मोह लिया सर बहुत वंडरफुल आपने प्रेजेंट किया और इसका जो मैं देख रहा था बुल और कौ की जो गेम है या नंबर गेम है या आपने कौन सी वेबसाइट कुछ बताई या अभी आपने इसमें आपने पैथागोरस थ्योरम का जो बताया किसमें इसमें बच्चे का जैसे आप क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे थे हमें तो अगर हम इतना ध्यान से सोच रहे हैं तो किस बच्चों के अंदर जो एन ई की लेके जो ट्वेंटी वन सेंचुरी स्किल है जिसमें क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग आप कह रहे हैं या क्रिएटिविटी कह रहे हैं या कलेबोरेशन कह रहे हैं ये कितनी चीजें उभर के सामने आएंगी तो मुझे लगता है कि आप तो एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का काम तो बहुत पहले से शुरू कर रहे हैं जिसमें बच्चा कैसे को लेट जैसे अपने कहा को लेट भी करेगा आई बहुत आपका सर थैंक कि आप यहाँ इस प्रोग्राम में आके आपने अपना हमें अवेयर किया इस प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम में और आपका वंडरफुल लेक्चर सुनने के लिए हम एक बार दोबारा से बिना मैम को आग्रह करेंगे कि कहीं एक बड़ा प्रोग्राम करें और एक अच्छे तरीके से क्योंकि बहुत मटीरियल है सर के पास बहुत मटीरियल है थैंक यू वंस अगेन डॉक्टर इंद्र कुमार राणा जी और इसके साथ ही मैं थैंक्स करना चाहूँगा जी जो मैन बिहाइंड दिस प्रोग्राम को जो हमारे नेशनल सेक्रेटरी हैं मैं बीना डिंगरा जी जो ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम नेशनल काउंसिल ऑफ जंग साइंटिस्ट में जो पूरा बीड़ा उठाए हुए हैं इस प्रोग्राम के लिए लगे हुए हैं कि एक अथक प्रयास है कि अलग अलग लैंग्वेज में ये प्रोग्राम को किया जाए हमारे डॉक्टर अजय ठाकुर जी भी जुड़े हुए थे मैं देख रहा था जो कि ऑल इंडिया रामन मैथ क्लब के सेक्रेटरी हैं और पूरा मैथमेटिक्स को उसने पूरा इतने अच्छे तरीके से आगे लोगों तक लेके प्रमोट कर रहे हैं और बहुत से लोगों को नए नए चांस दे रहे हैं अपॉर्चुनिटी दे रहे हैं आगे बढ़ने के लिए इसके साथ ही मैं जो भी जिसने भी इसको होस्ट किया या मैं कुछ देख रहा था कुछ चेहरे सिमी भाटिया जी अल्पा मैम जी या इसमें जी जी सर आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड हमने ऑडियंस uh, को अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं दी कि वो क्वेश्चन पूछ सके सो आई वुड लाइक टू गिव अगर कोई कोई क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहता है मुझसे तो प्लीज आस्क ए क्वेश्चन सजेशन डाउट कुछ भी आप पूछना चाहें तो पूछ लीजिए बिफोर बिना जी टेक्स ओवर एंड इज अ सेशन अगर आप किसी को भी कुछ पूछना है तो प्लीज अनम्यूट योर माइक और आप पूछ सकते हैं आप हमारे पास समुद्र है हम कुछ कतरे हम इस बूंद के हम ले ले तो हमें हमारे भी भाग्य नारा हो जाएगा प्लीज एनी वन सर ऑडियंस में से ज्यादा लोग की रिक्वेस्ट है कि अगर लिंक्स सभी मिल जाएं तो आई विल पुट दोस लिंक्स इन फेसबुक एट फेसबुक जो भी आप आप मैंने सब लिंक चैट बॉक्स में डाले हैं अगर आपके पास चैट बॉक्स का रिकॉर्ड होगा तो उसमें सब लिंक मिल जाएंगे आपको यस आई विल पोस्ट सो वहां से आप लेके डाल सकते हैं सब लिंक्स मैंने चैट बॉक्स में डाले हैं एक-एक करके ताकि लोग वहां पे जा सके एनीथिंग इज अबाउट पेरेंटिंग और मैथमेटिक्स ऑडियंस कोई भी पेरेंटिंग से रिलेटेड या मैथमेटिक्स से रिलेटेड कोई भी क्वेरी अगर आपकी है तो आप सर से पूछ सकते हैं आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क फ्रॉम द पेरेंटिंग साइड डू आई एम अ मैथमेटिक्स टीचर इन माय हाई स्कूल बट आई एम डू अ पेरेंट्स आल्सो एट द सेम टाइम सो आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क सर कि टुडे पेरेंट्स डजंट हैव दैट एप्टीट्यूड टू सिट विद द चिल्ड्रन दे हैव जस्ट ट्राइंग टू रिप्लेस देयर टाइम विद मनी एंड नॉट एबल टू गिव द वैल्यूएबल टाइम for the children in their helping out to study so it can be any subject sir and math suffers a lot because as you said math uh, just like language to learn it requires the basics of uh, grammar the same way math also requires the understanding of board mass bod mas which the child till the high school they never understand bod mas uh, i i would like to introduce to them every time just like sir you have to frame Uh, to get a result from uh, numbers, I do play with my children, but at the same time we lack the cooperation from the parents uh, in the parenting role. Gupta, um, I fully agree with you. That parents' ke pas, I have already said that today, both parents mostly work. They don't have time. Nahi hai. Not only mathematics, they have to probably look after homework or many other things. 
हम टीचर लोग बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट भी देते हैं प्रोजेक्ट भी कंप्लीट करवाने हैं बहुत कुछ रहता है बट एक चीज है अगर आप एटलीस्ट बच्चों को फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर बच्चे को मैथिकॉन एक बार डाल दिया वहां पे कि देखो बेटा यहाँ पे ये कर सकते हो तो वहां पे ट्यूटोरियल्स हैं वहां पे हेल्प बुक्स हैं और लोगों ने क्या क्या किया है उसको देख के वो भी अपने आप कुछ ना कुछ करेगा और इम्प्लीसिटली वो लर्न करेगा सेकेंड थिंग कि जब जब बच्चे थोड़े हाई स्कूल में चले जाते हैं तो पेरेंट्स हाथ खड़े कर देते हैं ये तो हमको आता ही नहीं है हम कैसे सिखाएंगे इसको चलो एक ट्यूटर रख देते हैं जो सिखाएगा इनको नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम वो ट्यूटर आएगा और वो स्किल मैथमेटिक्स जो क्लास में टीचर करवाती है वही करवा देगा राइट कुछ नहीं ताकि उसके नंबर अच्छे हो जाए और एंड में आप बोलोगे बहुत अच्छा ट्यूटर है उसने कैसा अच्छा पढ़ाया हमारे बच्चे के नंबर सत्तर से अस्सी परसेंट हो गए राइट बट उसको गणित आया कि नहीं आया सो वो काम पेरेंट्स को करना पड़ेगा या टीचर से पूछे या किसी और से पूछे अगर यहाँ पेरेंट्स है तो मेरे से पूछ सकते हैं कि साहब कुछ बताइए जो हम करें अपने बच्चे को वहां डाल दें राइट जहाँ पे अब जियो जबरा वाला जो साइट है वहां पे आप एक बार बच्चे को छोड़ देंगे बोलेंगे तू एक्सप्लोर कर कुछ भी कर उस साइट पे आई कैन एश्योर यू विद इन ए वीक यू स्टार्ट डूइंग समथिंग ऑफ इज ओन एंड यू स्टार्ट लर्निंग इतनी आसान और इतना इंटरेस्टिंग साइट है वो वो जो जियो जबरा है वो एक कंप्यूटर साइंस का पी स्टूडेंट था उसका पी एच डी थीसिस थी जियो जबरा ओके और ही गॉट ए डॉक्टरेट एंड एज ए रिजल्ट वी गॉट ए नाइस सॉफ्टवेयर कॉल जियो जबरा वर्ल्ड ओवर आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर विच इज यूज बाई प्राइमरी मिडल एंड सेकेंडरी लेवल इवन इन कॉलेज लेवल बाई मेनी वेरी इजी टू यूज वेरी नाइस वो है कि जब तालाब है जियो जबरा इसमें आप बच्चे को एक बार छोड़ देंगे तो कुछ ना कुछ हाथ पे मार के वो स्विमिंग सीख ही लेगा कुछ ना कुछ कर ही लेगा वो राइट तो इंटरेस्ट आ जाएगा एटलीस्ट उसका इंटरेस्ट आ जाएगा कि मैथमेटिक्स है कोई चीज सीख सकते हैं अरे वो आ गया तो बाकी तो बाल की बातें है ना अगर आप फुलजड़ी को आपने दिया सिलाई दिखा दी तो उसके बाद फुलजड़ी अपने आप जलने लगेगी दिया सिलाई दिखानी है आपको जला के दे, देखते नहीं रहना की जल रही है कि नहीं जल रही है I think I have answered your question. Yes, sir. Very well, sir. Sir, uh, मैं भी एक चीज पूछना चाहूंगी दो, uh, दो चीजें हैं कि एक तो सर uh, जो आपने जिस uh, हम बात को कर रहे हैं कि पेरेंट्स uh, को अवेयर होना पड़ेगा पेरेंट्स को पहले मोटिवेट करने की जरूरत है बच्चों से पहले पेरेंट्स को सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज है कि वो बच्चा आपका है लेकिन आई एम टीचिंग दैट सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी बच्चा आपका है वो सोचते हैं मैंने बच्चे को स्कूल में डाल दिया तो बच्चा मैंने स्कूल को दान कर दिया yes. पढ़ाएगा अपने आप वो मेरा बच्चा नहीं बाद में उसको इंजीनियर बना के निकालेंगे वो अरे भाई वो बच्चा तुम्हारा है तुम्हारी प्रॉपर्टी है तुम यू हैव तुम्हें योगदान देना पड़ेगा उसके वेल बींग में राइट सिर्फ पैसे खर्च कर बात है सर लेकिन बोलिए रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम है मैं जिस सोसाइटी के सेक्शन को पढ़ा रही हूँ लाइक वेरी वेरी पुअर फाइनेंशली पुअर एंड अन एजुकेटेड पेरेंट्स जिनको ये ही नहीं पता है कि उनका बच्चा नाइन्थ में है या टेंथ में है वो वाले पेरेंट्स को हम कैसे मोटिवेट करें सबसे बड़ा क्वेश्चन और सर पूरे इंडिया में अगर हम देखें तो दैट इज मेजर क्वेश्चन जो गवर्नमेंट स्कूल में अन एजुकेटेड पेरेंट्स हैं पब्लिक स्कूल में पढ़ाने वाले पेरेंट्स पढ़े लिखे पेरेंट्स हैं वो ये काम फिर भी कर सकते हैं जैसे कि आपने कहा कि उन्होंने चाहे वो साइट का बच्चों को साइट ही खोल के दिखा दे कि इसे देखो लेकिन व्हाट अबाउट द पेरेंट्स व्हाट वी आर टीचिंग इसी वीना आई सेड रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ इंप्रूविंग मैथ एजुकेशन लाइज ऑन मेनी मेनी पर्संस मेनी बॉडीज राइट गवर्नमेंट इज वन देन टीचर्स आर वन स्कूल स्कूल ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आर अनदर पेरेंट्स ऑफ कोर्स आर वन ऑफ देम राइट सो many many schools in us organize parent development professional development for parents in which only parents come the child does not come okay parenting for primary level ek din ka workshop aur rakhenge to at least kuch log to sikhenge na aur jo record ho jayega wo agar jayega aage to baki log bhi sikhenge so nobody has thought about in india ke parents ko bhi padhane ki zarurat hai रिस्पॉन्स स्कूल 
स्कूल स्कूल्स की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है और पेरेंट्स की थोड़ी बहुत अगर है तो है मगर अगर आप टीचर्स का प्रोफेशनल टीचर्स का प्रोफेशनल डेवलपमेंट होता है ना हर साल कौन ऑर्गेनाइज करता है गवर्नमेंट बॉडीज एनसीआर करती है ये करते हैं वो करते हैं ये टीचर्स को प्रोफेशनली डेवलप करना है अरे पेरेंट्स को भी तो करना पड़ेगा आपको पेरेंट्स भी घर पे हैं पेरेंट इज द फर्स्ट टीचर ऑफ द चाइल्ड that i fully agree with you on that account because what is observed is that you need to just as you spend time with your child it's not just educating the child even if wo agar parent uneducated hai wo apne means of earning to use kar raha hai na agar wo cheez ka trait wo sikha sakta hai bacche ko to ye mathematics automatically bachcha imbibe karega hi karega it's a matter of just spending time with your child imbibing will happen automatically जैसे मैम मैं एक बात ऐड करूंगा जैसे वो लेबर का है या मिस्त्री है कोई भी है वो कहेगा कि मैंने ये ये इतना बिल्डिंग बनाई उसका कमरा इतने बाई इतने का था उसका कितना एरिया होगा उसका कितना पैरीमीटर होगा ये चीजें कुछ ये क्योंकि हमारे स्कूल में बहुत से बच्चे मैं सिर्फ एक सजेशन राय दे रहा हूँ कि वो डेली लाइफ में जो कर रहा है तो बच्चों को एक्चुअली वो सिखाएगा कि जो वट एवर ड्रॉइंग की बच्चा सीखेगा हाँ जी मेरे फादर ने आज कितनी कंस्ट्रक्शन की है कितने बाई कितने का वो एरिया है कितना पैरीमीटर कितनी टायर लगाई है कितना वो किया है तो वो चीजें थोड़ा बहुत exactly, वही सिखाने की वही अवेयरनेस की जरूरत है सर सीखेंगे तो वो अपने आप लाइक हम तीन चार लोग ही आपस में बात कर रहे हैं तो पैनल डिस्कशन लेटर ऑन सम टाइम यू कैन शेड्यूल अगर एक्चुअली ये सेशन थोड़ा समय इसके लिए कम था हम ये चाह रहे हैं कि जैसे आपका सुनने में इतना हमें अच्छा लगा कि हम ग्रैंड लेवल पे अच्छे ले, बड़े लेवल पे एक प्रोग्राम करें जिसमें टाइम भी काफी हो और आपकी क्वेरीज भी ली जाए और जिससे कि बहुत सारा लोगों को डाउट भी क्लियर हो और पूरे एक फ्री तरीके से होके बैठे और क्योंकि आपको सुनने का इतना मन कर रहा है कि हम आई थिंक गुप्ता जी लेटर्स टॉक अबाउट दैट लेटर ऑन अभी इस सेशन के बारे में किसी को कुछ पूछना है तो प्लीज आस go other sessions i think veena and uh, simi can always look after and plan those things sure is sir isi kisi ko koi doubt question suggestion on parenting or mathematics or parenting and mathematics together right agar kuch hai to please uh, otherwise i think it's already uh, half an hour above the time uh, because everybody must have book some other session or something else somewhere else some motivated parents and teachers are, are still there i think I, of, yeah, yeah somebody can you. ask uh, by two times three by two times yes. yes anybody has a question or no then i will request uh, veena to probably have a uh, think about future uh, parent, parenting mathematics workshops for all of our parents कोचिंग <laughs> the ticket th this is uh, today's session is more important for parents ask them to join they are, don't don't understand um first of all it, it was in english and another thing ki uh, they don't have time they are daily uh, daily, daily wages workers so if the, they can't spend time they don't come to school even right okay so i think uh, it's time to probably if no more questions are there no more doubts are there uh, let us uh, probably close the session let me thank kavina for roping me in for this interactive session and all of you attending the session thank you very much and uh, thank you for uh, all our have you here sir we are privileged you spared time valuable time for us true vina ma'am and thank do you. take care hathi ki push hui hai kahi pe because every day we are getting around 4000 new cases in india so it is around somewhere let us not uh, help it to spread further so do take care do take precautions and keep safe thank you take thank care thank you so much sir thank you thank you thank you sir once again thank you sir thank you thank you sir everybody for joining please stay connected